Hi, y'all. This is Father Jeremiah of Grace Anglican Church here in Gastonia, North Carolina again, and I have a quick video I wanted to do on All Saints Day. Before I get into that, though, I want you to hit that like button right now or sometime during this video so you tell YouTube that you enjoyed this video and you think others should see it. Hit the share button and share it on Facebook or Twitter or, or whatever social media outlet you're a part of to let your friends see this video and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified when we post new content. All Saints Day, what is this holiday all about and why do Christians observe it and celebrate it? Now, I have a couple of videos that go into the long history about All Saints Day and its relationship to Halloween or as it was originally called, All Hallows Evening or All Hallows Eve. That's where we get Halloween from, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about why I think you should observe and celebrate All Saints Day. Now, All Saints Day is this Sunday, November 1st in 2020. It happens on a Sunday, so we will be definitely observing this Sunday as All Saints Day and remembering the saints. Now, saints are people who have died in the faith. Saints are those who have known Jesus Christ in their life, and they died and they went on to be with him in heaven right now. They are in his presence worshiping him. Go read the last part of Revelation 7 and you'll see a picture of what heaven is to look like with the saints all around the throne of God, all dressed in white, all singing hymns and singing and praising the name of Jesus for what he has done for them. And that's what saints do in heaven. They are praising God for what he has done through Jesus Christ for them. And so on All Saints Day, we remember those saints. We remember those who have gone on before us, not just super saints, not just super Christians, Christians who did wonderful and amazing things. They are certainly to be commemorated and to be commended and to be remembered, but also those simple Christians, those Christians who have died in anonymity that no one else but maybe you know about, that maybe only God knows about, that All Saints Day is about remembering that there is a whole host that is innumerable, that is uncountable, that is unfathomable to our minds of how many saints there are in that host in heaven and we are remembering and commemorating their faith. We're remembering what they have done in trusting Jesus. And that's the core of All Saints Day is to remember all the saints. Now in Roman Catholicism they also have another day called All Souls Day that Anglicans do not traditionally observe. All Souls Day has to do with purgatory. In Roman Catholicism you have those who go to heaven who have been completely purified of the last vestiges of sin. And so they are saints who have gone and entered on into heaven. Those saints, those Christians who die without being fully purged, go to purgatory to be, to be cleansed of remaining sin. And they await that day of going into heaven and being in the full presence of Christ. Between now and that time, they're in purgatory. And All Souls Day is about remembering them in Roman Catholicism and praying for them and recalling their good deeds and asking God to shorten their days, to welcome them into heaven. We as Anglicans don't observe that. We put it all together into one day, All Saints Day, because all believers in Christ, regardless of how much they've struggled with sin, regardless of whether there is something that they hadn't confessed before death, regardless of those struggles, if they died faithful to Christ, desiring to be with him, desiring to know his forgiveness, then they're in heaven with him right now awaiting the resurrection of the dead. And so it's all one holiday for us because all those who are faithful and die in Christ go into heaven. So what should you do on All Saints Day? Well, if you don't go to a church that observes it, but you want to yourself personally, remember the saints, the believers that you know who have died, who influenced your own faith. Remember them and say a prayer, a blessing, thanking God that he had them to be part of your life, that he used them, that he acted through them on your behalf to bring you to know Christ, to strengthen you, to build you up, to help you mature as a believer. Remember past family members who, if they hadn't existed, you wouldn't be here right now, especially as believers. Remember your past believing family members because their life means that you live. So for All Saints Day, simply remember your forebears in the faith who led you nearer to Christ, especially those that you personally knew, the ones that you spent time with, and celebrate what God did through them for you because it's all about Jesus. Those saints are commemorated not because of the amazing, glorious, super works that they did, but because they pointed people at Jesus. And that's what we want to do with our celebration of All Saints is point people to Jesus the King. Point out what he has done for us, that he brought us salvation. And so go celebrate and commemorate and honor all the saints. Remember those who led you in the faith, who helped you grow and mature, and say a prayer of thanks to God himself. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.